prankster Man United fan blagged his way into Champions League team picture. Manchester United fan Carl Power lived the dream of every single Red Devils supporter when he lined up alongside the likes of Roy Keane and Paul Scholes for a vital Champions League clash. In what must be the greatest and most infamous hoodwink any football fan has ever managed, Power managed to blag his way into United's team photo before they took on Bayern Munich in the 2001 semi-final. Donned in United's white away strip, Power managed to evade the prying eyes of security, Sir Alex Ferguson, United coaches, and most of the United squad to get himself into their pre-match photo. Despite the visible confusion on the faces of the United squad, Power successfully pulled off one of the most infamous pranks in football history. And the former labourer revealed the military campaign-like preparation him and his mates put into pulling one of the most audacious heists in football history. We planned it like a military campaign and brought three United kits with us, red, white and blue, Power said to the Sun in 2001, per Planet Football. Then we found out where the team were staying and got one of the directors to tell us what color they'd be wearing. We then went back and rehearsed it all in our hotel room. We got a taxi to the ground, pretended we were with a TV crew, and the gateman let us in. We managed to get down to pitch site and waited for the players to come out of the tunnel. Then with 20 minutes till kickoff, we saw an opening where there were no stewards, and a couple of us walked all the way around the running track and ended up behind the goal. What other unforgettable fan pranks can you think of? Let us know in the comments we sat with the photographers watching the warm-up. Then, when the teams walked out, I went to the player's entrance and knew nothing was going to stop me. Everything went according to plan for power and his friends as their sting was pulled off to absolute perfection. However, their stunt was nearly undone by a Gary Neville-shaped spanner in the works. Neville points at me and says, who's that? And I say to him, shut it, Gary, you grass, I'm doing it for Eric Cantona, Power said to the Guardian, days after the incident. 